All right, folks. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to film this. I don't know how good I'll be able to do this uh, by myself. I hope you can hear me on this uh, tractor running. Uh, I'm turning this uh, round log into a beam. It's not going to be a square beam. It's uh, it's going to be a rounded beam uh, with a flattened bottom on it. Uh, I don't know. Everybody has different ways of doing things, but I'm just going to show you what, uh, how I do it, what I'm going to do, and uh, how I've read in different books to do it. Uh, out there on that other end there, I cut. Uh, first thing I done was. Uh, Looked down the log and found the uh, straightest side, most level side to it, or area. And I went down there and uh, put a notch with my axe in it, put my string in that notch. Then, uh, then I come up here and you get your string straight and pull it tight and uh, mark it with a pencil. Then to get that string out of the <clears throat> out of the way. And then what you use is a plumb bob. Hope this comes out all right. But you take that plumb bob and you hang it right on your mark, and then. I can't do it holding the camera, but uh, then you'll take and mark down there on the bottom of that log. You'll do this end and go around there and do the other end and stripe the line down to it. And that gets you a uh, straight center in it to work off of. And each end will match each other by using a plumb bob. Uh, I'll try to, I'm gonna try to film some of this, but it's kind of hard doing it one handed. And, but uh, I'll show y'all, I'll come back and I hope I can edit all this so it don't have to be a bunch of parts. Uh, talk to y'all later. Okay, the next thing you do is uh, after you get the plumb line marked, take straight edge and mark it down through here. Then peel your bark off of it. And then you go to your little end and make sure that the little end, there's enough wood to however deep, thick, thickness you want to make the beam. Of course, I already knew how thick I wanted to make them, and I cut the tree accordingly, but in this case, it's going to be five inches. So you measure from here down five inches and make you a mark. Well, after you do that, and you take your square, and you lay it up there and mark it across the bottom. And you mark this half. And then you do the same thing on this side and mark it. Now that gives you a flat surface. That'll give you a flat surface that's going to sit on top of the post or around the beam. What this is going to be is a plate that's going to have a round rafters sit on top of here. And I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to scribe the rafters on the top side and let them lay on top of this big thick log. But, uh, then what we'll do is uh, we'll, I know how far I have to come in and I'll come in and measure it and mark it and come around and I'll take a chainsaw off and cut it out but I'll, I'll try and show you a little bit more of that. But if you mark this like this five inches and go down on the other end and mark it five inches and come across, this right here will equal the other end out in being level. After you've marked it, the next thing you want to do is peel some of the bark off where you're going to cut it. Uh, this end being going to, going to set on half the width of the post. Uh, that end out there peeled back more because it's going to uh, uh, sit on the post and I'm going to have a, a bigger overhang on it. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, when I square the roof, it will be trimmed off. But uh, when you cut this this notch and that notch out there, this rounded part of the wood's going to sit down in between your posts. Um, so what what you need to do is I peeled it and I turned it up. Now this is the section I'm going to cut off the log here. 
but you want to make sure that this this point and that point coincides with each other. So all I do is took an axe and cut in there a little bit, pulled the string line down into it, done the same thing. And what you do is you just mark your line. It'd be better if you had a chalk line, but I don't have a chalk line here with me. Uh, but just mark your line here. Then you'll do the same thing with this this point right here. You may, you'll measure in your depth that you want it to sit rest on the post and then mark it around here like this and you cut into it and cut into it and I'll leave it that. Then you'll put your tape measure on here and measure the top of your post, the distance in between them. Measure that from here to out there and you'll cut that bigger section. It'll be a bigger section that'll be cut out out there. And then we'll peel the post and put it up. But uh, I hope this uh, sort of, I hope I've uh, done a decent enough job explaining this and y'all can hear me okay. But if you wanted to make a square beam, you would just continue on with squaring this and then marking your lines like this and, and either hewing it by hand or using a chainsaw mill or whatever uh, to make it a square beam or just a, a, a huge beam on each side, you would mark it and uh, go with it like that. But that's how you get get your lines all to match up. But uh, I'll, I'll try to film a little bit more. I hope I can edit all this together. Okay, right here you can see, yeah, y'all have to excuse me, I got a helm, a hard hat on, face shield up. Uh, I turned the log up sideways so I could cut it. Made my first cut here, got a little wild with the chainsaw, cut deeper than I meant to deep, cut, and turned it up straight, and followed the line, and just cut by a long line. You can still see some of the pencil mark right there on the bottom, but that gets you first. You see that'll sit right on the post. Next thing you want to do is measure from here, out there, the distance between your logs, your poles in the ground. Okay, got this, uh, got this beam made, and I got it peeled, and uh, I hate it, made a little bit of a mistake there, and I cut too deep, it'll be okay. Uh, I like, I peel with, uh, I peel with an axe mostly. I have a couple of old junky draw knives and they're okay with this sticker, sticker bark white pine. Uh, I like using an axe. I, I like using an axe on just about everything or or digging bar. Uh, digging bar is a poor man's uh, a poor man's bark spud. I'd like to have a bark spud, but I, I'm just not going to spend the money on something like that. I might eventually make me one, but just using the tools that I got. This is the other cut set up on there. Uh, square the build and trim off. A lot of that will be trimmed off. Uh, don't look too bad. It's been hot today. It was over 100. It's 92 right now in the shade. You lose some pounds doing, doing this kind of work. And uh, just show y'all. I practice what I preach. I got short paints on, but I got my uh, chaps on. I like my legs without cuts in them, but uh, I wear chaps even with short paints. It's not for everybody, but uh, just to show you what I practice what I preach. Uh, chaps with short paints, uh, it pulls the hires out the first few, uh, couple of hours you wear them like that, and then, it, then it's done and over with. But I hope y'all enjoy seeing this being me and made. Talk to you later. Just wanted to show you folks that uh, this beam that I filmed making. Um, thank goodness I got those forks. It's uh, up there and in place. And uh, you can see how that fits. And uh, whenever I put the final square on the roof, a lot of that will come off, be trimmed away. But uh, I fastened them with, uh, I'm trying these new uh, timber tights screws and uh, they work pretty good. 
different lengths but uh, you can uh, see sort of how that works out if it's going to be real fancy you'd scribe the side of those uh, where instead of cutting it square I would make it match that rounded pole but uh, Lord I, <clears throat> I'm not that kind of a craftsman I don't have that if I could lift it up and work with it easier I would but I'm just doing this that's good enough for me but hope y'all enjoy uh, seeing this and you see the back ones I've already done I got them but uh, hope y'all enjoyed seeing this talk to you later